Hey, welcome to module one. This is the module where you actually get into the training, start rewiring the brain so you can understand fast Spanish. And the title of this lecture is, Are You Imagining Things? And we're going to talk about how perception actually works in the case of listening to a human being speak. Now, if you've already had experience learning and studying Spanish in the traditional model, then you've probably had an experience like this before. Some Spanish speakers talking to you and they're speaking really fast. You're trying to keep along, but you can't. And you can't really catch what they're saying because it's too fast, it's too blurry. So you have to do that embarrassing thing and interrupt them and say, hey, could you please repeat that? They say it again, but you still don't know what they're saying. You can't make out the words. So you say, could you please write that down for me, right? And like, oh, okay, fine. And they write down the word. You look at the paper and you say, oh, I know these words, right? So then the question is, if you know these words, how come you didn't catch them when the person was speaking in his fast and natural way? So we're going to answer that here in this lecture. And the answer to that question is this. You've trained your ear to listen for words, but words are imaginary. So if you have any experience learning Spanish through the reading and writing paradigm, that's what you were doing. You were training your ear to listen for things that don't actually exist. So what am I talking about? Of course, words are real, right? Well, let's take it to English. Um, imagine I said to you these words. What's going on tonight, right? Hey, I would go to your house. It's like some about to go out to a party. I'm like, hey, what's going on tonight? What you would hear is what's going on tonight. But in reality, what I said was, what's going on tonight? Don't believe me? Let's go back and look at the tapes. About to go out to a party. I'm like, hey, what's going on tonight? What's going on tonight? What's going on tonight? What's going on tonight? Okay, so we can see then that what I actually said was not the same as what you thought you heard. In other words, what's going on tonight, that was what happened in your imagination. But what happened in reality was I made sko non to night. And then you interpreted that as what's going on tonight. Imagine if what I say to you, speech was a sequence of shapes, right? So I had these little squares. And then your ears are already pre-shaped to receive these squares. So when I say what's going on tonight, those things leave out of my mouth and then enter into your ears, into your brain, and then you can catch it, right? But the reason why you can catch it is because you're already tuned in. You've already shaped your hearing to hear the shapes of my American English sounds. But imagine if you were Mexican and then you train once again in that traditional paradigm of reading and writing. So even though I'm saying it's going on tonight, what you've trained yourself to listen for are the words, what's going on tonight, right? Or even with an accent, maybe, what's going on tonight? So if that's what that person's listening for, and then I say these shapes, and it's a different shape, then it's not gonna fit, it's not gonna catch. Instead, it's gonna bounce off, and the person won't understand, they won't comprehend, right? So. The goal of this module, this module one here, is to reshape your listening frame from listening for imaginary words to real life syllables. It's an actual physical process. We need to break down the original frames you have for listening to Spanish and then match them to the reality of Spanish speech, not words, but syllables. When you do this and you do this successfully, you will acquire your first core ability, which is called syllable parsing. So the ability to listen to fast sequence of speech and then chop it up into its component pieces of syllables, not words, syllables. Why are we doing this? Because syllable parsing is the most foundational core ability. Because think about it. What are you doing when you're understanding and trying to connect with somebody? Well, they send you these shapes, these, these syllables, you catch them, and then you look at what you've caught or you examine it in your mind and you say, oh, these, this is what he's trying to say. This is what these words are. In this context, I interpret it into this and okay, he's trying to tell me about how his father did this and blah, 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 right? So all that interpretation, identification, uh, 
even just hearing the elemental sounds, hearing the intonation patterns, rhythm, all the other things you'll learn in this course, none of that happens if you're not able to hold the speech in your mind, if you can't catch the sounds of speech. So syllable parsing is that core foundational ability to reshape your listening so you can catch natural Spanish speech and do everything afterwards. So to review, most Spanish learners train their brain to listen for words, but words are imaginary. In reality, language isn't a sequence of words, it's a sequence of syllables. And in order to catch those syllables or what people are saying, you need to reshape your listening to match the reality of the syllables, okay? Now, one last thing, if you do this, you will require the most foundational core ability of listening comprehension, which is syllable parsing. Now, in the next video, we're gonna talk about how you actually train that ability. How do we actually reshape your brain at the physical foundational level? So check out that next video, and then we'll go right into the practice.